Hello, my name is Josh Morrison, an investment analyst here at True Potential. Earlier this week, it was announced by Premier Li Keqiang, China's second highest ranking official, that China would implement further tax cut estimated to be around 2 trillion yen, or approximately 227 billion pounds. This will be enacted to help stimulate China's economy, which has seen a gradual slowdown over the past several years. Further positive economic news has also emanated from Germany, who have themselves seen a slowdown in growth over the past 12 months. Early this week, it was announced that there would be an 8.8% wage growth increase within the public sector over the next three years. This would push real wage growth, this being the difference between inflation and wages, even wider. Economists are hopeful that this will rapidly increase consumer spending, which in turn should spur GDP growth. Included within China's policy reforms is a reduction in value-added tax from 10% to 9% across the transportation and construction sectors, as well as a further cut from 16% to 13% for manufacturers. With the two latter sectors having seen significant underperformance since the inaction of the US-China trade wars in 2018, we may see a reversal of this courtesy of the tax cuts. This in turn should have a multiplier effect spreading out into the broader economy. Economists are banking on the better pay rises boosting growth in Germany at a time when the country's 1.5 trillion euro export machine is under pressure from weak global demand and political uncertainty. As Germany is one of the main drivers of growth within Europe, any positive impact that this wage increase would have within the German economy would benefit the European geography as a whole. Following the implementation of these tax cuts within the Chinese economy, in tandem with ongoing trade talks between Mr Trump and China's President Xi Jinping, we should hopefully see a rebound in China's growth. Their new growth target is now in the range of 6 to 6.5%, a figure that would not only benefit other emerging markets, but global growth also. In reference to Germany, last year a similar increase to wages was awarded to manufacturing workers, and recent data has already suggested that this event improved household consumption significantly. Therefore, economists remain positive that this upcoming income growth will have a similar effect. However, the pace in which the full impact of wage growth increases feeds into an economy is slower than central banks expected, and we therefore may have to wait some time before we gain the full benefit. In spite of this, there are still a lot of positive reasons to remain positive as we head further into 2019. Thank you for watching.